Yo, what's up everyone? It's Big Buku here, and I got some Modern Warfare 2. I know Black Ops, Black Ops is my favorite Call of Duty, uh, but people like to see Modern Warfare 2, and this is the first game I started taking seriously. Uh, and yes, I'm using the heartbeat, the baby monitor, whatever you fuckers like to call it, but the thing is, Ninja is the third tier perk that people should be using, in my opinion. And for the fuckers that use the Commando, this is just punishment to them. Because, you know, they're going to show up on my heartbeat, and they are going to be exposed, which is great, because I'll find them easier. But anyways, um, I end up going like 17-1. and one. I mean, I, I do a lot of hiding out, but I mean, I don't know how to fucking... I lost the, the fucking the strategy of playing this game since Black Ops came out. I fucking had this game down to a science, fucking Black Ops came out, and it's like, no, we're going to change the whole way you play shooters for the worse, because that fucking ghost perk... And that's what I like about this game. You either get, you either, you gotta choose, <laughs> you gotta choose stopping power or cold blooded. And uh, people want stopping power, <laughs> so UAVs are fucking amazing in this game. But anyways, I had no idea what the fuck to do for a commentary. I posted a bulletin about two minutes ago on my YouTube, and I was like, "Yo, send me a thing for a commentary," and no one. I'm going to stand up as I do this. Uh, no one sent me a message because I don't have that many subscribers or friends or people that care enough. <laughs> so I figured, you know, I was thinking, I was like walking around my room. I was like, well, what the fuck can I do? And on the back of the wall, I have a, a Dillinger Escape Plan poster that's signed by the members of the band. And I have an MGMD little poster, too, that came with an album. I was like, you know what? Let's do something musical. Music's a big part of my life. I say that in a couple of my videos. I'm bringing out the, the Music Tuesdays for you guys. Showing you guys a little bit more than just Call of Duty gameplay, which I think I do need to start breaking the mold more, you know. People aren't going to get big off Call of Duty. Most people aren't even going to get big. I might as well have a fucking fun time enjoying doing this thing, so let's do it. Topic. Ba -bow. You can read it from the title. I know I say that in a bunch of the videos, but I mean, people are like, well, the topic for today is, well, you can read it in the fucking title. That's why you clicked on the video anyway. Uh, concerts. Musical concerts. You know, music is my passion probably more than video games like I don't know if I was if I had a like a an actual like working band I would and I if I had to choose video games or music I'd choose music without a doubt uh, not because there's more money to be made off it just because I enjoy it more and uh, so what are the concerts what you guys remember your first concert um I definitely do kind it's kind of my first concert I don't really count it but um Juliana Hatfield, and you guys are asking yourself, who the fuck is that? Like, what is that shit, man? Uh, my dad's in love with it. My dad really digs female singers, and I do as well. Uh, I like, uh, I got a crush on Taylor Swift. I love that chick, but he really likes this girl named Juliana Hatfield, and I listen to her, and eh, whatever. I my I kind of grew up. That was one of the few you know, CDs my dad listened to, and, uh, my second concert, I'll, I'll get to that, but, whatever, I'll get, I'll just get to it, but, uh, I don't know, it was a local, it was at the, uh, the Brattle Theater, which is so close to my girlfriend's college, I think that's cool as shit, that, uh, I was so close to, like, where I'd be spending a lot of my time, because I go and visit her once a week, but, uh, she's back for the summer now, so that's fucking great, but, uh, that concert, it was cool, small, I didn't really enjoy it, but my dad needed someone to go with, so I figured, why the fuck not? And uh, I remember the one thing with that concert. You know, you go to the concerts, and uh, you got the people that are so fucking into the music, they don't realize that they're clapping out of tune. And it's like, it'll be like a 4-4 four, four beat. Oh, sorry if any of this shit flies over your head. I'm a fucking musical dork. And uh, I don't think I end up going 17-1. I'm dying a lot. <laughs> but uh, they'll clap, and they'll just be so off beat, but they'll be so drunk and happy that they don't give a fuck, and you know, I shouldn't be hating on them for having a fun time, but come on, stay with the fucking beat people, but anyway, second concert, amazing, I'm not sure if it's the best concert I've ever been to, um, it was Alanis Morissette, and that's the, my dad, favorite of all time, seriously, Jagged Little Pill is the top selling female album of all time, uh, if I have my facts straight, I do believe it is, fucking amazing, the bass player was cool, uh, You Oughta Know, which is one of her big hits, about Dave Coulier, uh, Uncle Joey from Full House. The bass line for that song is phenomenal, because Flea actually did, uh, I know he did that song on the album, but he also did a, uh, a bunch of the songs in, uh, on the album, if I, if I recall right. But uh, anytime you get Flea on a track, you know it's going to be jumping. 
So lights, the light show was good for that too. It was really good. She, you know, she took out her acoustic as well and did some slower songs, which is nice. And then, uh, I don't know, was, I really enjoyed that. And I actually got to meet her in a new read comics meet and greet thing. You know, it was pretty cool. We we got in, and my dad's like, "Yo, let's get to the back of the room, so we'll be the first to sign." Because you know, the closer you are, everyone shifts, and she walks to the back, and everyone's like, "We'll get back." And uh, my dad, I'm like, "Dad, you gotta go first. I was actually first in line. I ended up hitting that, but I'm like, "Dad, you gotta go." And he started tearing up. He's a little pusser about that, but you know, meeting your favorite favorite musician, that's a, that's a cool thing. So after that, let's see what other concerts I can remember. I remember I took my girlfriend to John Mayer. That was cool. My buddy was actually at the same concert. He was uh, a, a level below us. That was cool. Michael Franti and Spearhead opened for them, and uh, they have a couple songs that are pretty dope. A couple, uh, uh, I forget what the song's called, but you, I don't know, I'm sure you've heard it before, and he's got some new singles out now. That was sick. John Mayer, he's actually not just like a chick musician. He actually, there was one point, I know he does this at every show, because I've, uh, my fr my buddy Frank, he's really into him, he's got a DVD. He'll just stop, everyone will go off stage, and it'll just be him and his guitar, and he'll do like a blues jam. And you guys know I, I am digging the blues, I respect the blues, and the guy can fucking shred. He's actually a Berkeley graduate as well. Uh, I ended up seeing Fleetwood Mac. These are in order now, I totally forget. Fleetwood Mac with my mother. Uh, amazing. Lindsey Buckingham, favorite guitar player of all time. The fact that there's a song, uh, I think it's called Big Big House, and uh, he plays he finger style and sings, and it's just so fucking technical. And during that stage of the show, they went into, Lindsey Buckingham went into an amazing solo where I just fucking, I just got lost. And I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but I really feel, I really fucking feel music. And I, I was just like, closed my eyes, and I was like, oh my god, this is euphoria. This is what it fucking means to feel the music. And it was just so fucking awesome. I was like, fuck it, this guy's my favorite guitar player of all time. And I really dig Fleetwood Mac. I know uh, my mom really grew up, or I kind of grew up listening to them, and, uh, you know, just rubs off on your kids, and you really enjoy that. We have boop, boop, doo, 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 Creed! <laughs> uh, I... I I don't know, I'm not on too good terms with my mom's. I guess I could do a commentary on that. My parents got divorced almost two years ago, and it doesn't seem like two years, but whatever. But basically, I got to go to a Creed concert, and, you know, my mom's like, well, do you want the tickets? Because, like, I'll go, but if not, like, I won't go, and you can take the tickets. And I was like, well, because I, I hate seeing musical tickets being wasted, because I don't care what it is. I'll go to any fucking musical concert, just because I fucking enjoy that shit. Uh, any kind of genre, I don't really care. I know a lot of people are like, well, fuck that music, man. And yeah, you know, there's some kinds of music I don't like, but a live show just makes you appreciate the music more. Uh, with Creed, uh, she kind of pawned the tickets off on me as a cheap-ass motherfucking birthday present, and I end up getting there, and then these people next to me are like, yo, what's up? Like, are you sure you have the right tickets? And uh, I guess my mom didn't tell her friends that bought her the tickets that she gave them to me and my girlfriend. So fuck that shit. And they were fucking drunk rednecks. And I, I don't know, my mom mixes with the wrong people. But anyways, I'm going to do a part two. So I hope you guys, uh, fuck, over, it's over. Oh wait, yeah it is.